Good morning everybody. Welcome to Seoul in South Korea. Today's Christmas Day vlog is going to be a little bit different than usual. Breakfast has arrived on Christmas Day morning. Let's see what we've got for breakfast. If I'm being completely honest, I've no idea what breakfast is this morning. I think this here is like a, a yogurt drink. Um, yeah, it looks like a fruit yogurt drink. And then here we've got rice, some sweet corn, and some kind of sausage thing, is it? With tomato sauce? Not too sure. So I've done a Christmas Day vlog for the last four years. The last two years I was in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. And this year I'm in hotel quarantine <laughs> in Seoul and South Korea and I've got my breakfast in like these bento boxes you get a breakfast lunch and dinner the food is always cold <laughs> and it ranges from being okay to just about edible <laughs> it's not the best food in the world you know we're in one of the uh, best places in the world for food but yeah quarantine food isn't always great and this is some kind of apple juice I think I'll, I'll tell you once I start opening it I did have a yogurt that I didn't have yesterday so I've got this and uh, yeah so I'm gonna tuck into my breakfast but well, I've got a satsuma as well that I had from yesterday so I've got a nice little breakfast here I think in life especially when we're living through a pandemic you have to take the positives out of thing, uh, you know, negative, I'm spending Christmas locked down in my room in Seoul in South Korea for the next 10 days. But the positive thing is, I've just got beautiful blue skies, I've got a nice view. So we're gonna open up the tomato sauce and I'm gonna splodge it on my sausage. <laughs> there we go, oh, just look at that. Yesterday I had hot dog for my breakfast, so yeah, it's a bit different today. Let's put that down there. Now let's get my fork spoon. Dig it in. Hold it up tight. Oh my god. Mmm. <laughs> it's not a sausage. That is, it's a it's bread cake with a sausage. Let me just spin it around. Look. Sausage in the middle of it. Mmm. Then we've got some rice and some corn looking stuff which I'm not too sure about. And the corn. Not bad, like in a mayonnaise. Anyway, eat my breakfast and I'll be back. Tell you all about quarantine, what I've been getting up to. So this is much nicer than yesterday's breakfast. The rice is like a spicy kimchi uh, type of rice with onions and um, some of the veggies in here as well. And it does taste really nice. This doesn't didn't look really nice, the sweet corn, but it tasted it. And this here is like an apple yogurt drink. And it doesn't taste bad. It's quite refreshing actually. So I'm going to finish off my rice. Uh, I'm going to tidy my room up quickly so I can do my tar. Um, going to be here until the 1st of January, assuming of course that I get two negative COVID tests. I had a COVID test on day one and not heard anything so I'm assuming it's negative but I'm going to try and find out today and get confirmation that it's negative. Um, I'm sure if it was positive I would have been moved on by now uh, because they put you in another facility if you're positive so hopefully that's negative, hopefully the next test will be negative and I can get into my apartment and uh, start to explore so. Mm. This is what 
day three. I ran, uh, flew from Warsaw in Poland on Wednesday. Um, went through a, a, just a load of processes, which I'll talk about in a future video. And then was driven to my airport hotel, airport hotel, my quarantine hotel from the airport. And um, yeah, uh, it's today, Saturday, so I've been here three days. Getting used to it. I'm used to lockdowns. I was in Malaysia through two lockdowns, so 10 days is not going to be too much of a problem, I don't think. So what we have to do is all of the rubbish um, needs to be put in here. All of our nuclear waste um, gets put in these yellow bags and they come and collect these at 7pm every day. And every morning I open up the window. It's freezing cold, it's about minus 6 I think at the moment. Um, but yeah, I always just open it up to get some cold in, get some fresh air in to start the day. So what I have to do is log into this app every day, uh, basically put my temperature, which is where I've got the thermometer, and then you put if you've got any symptoms or anything like that. Morning announcements. See my refuse bag there. In seven languages. <laughs> so, so these notifications come on about 9.45 in the morning. Don't last too long. It's just to warn you about not smoking in the room um, because you can get deported and fined. If you leave the room, it's like a 10 million won fine. Uh, a year in prison and banned from Korea for like five years. <laughs> and as you can hear, it goes on a little while, about five minutes. <laughs> I'm glad that I don't sleep in late. I, I'm always up early, so these don't wake me up. So now that has finished, <laughs> let's do with the tar. So this is my hotel room. It's actually... Ah, oh, another message. Maybe. Ah, oh, maybe not. Um, so this is a triple room. So it's got a double size bed, which is what I'm sleeping in. And then the other bed is to put all of your items on for storage because there's no real storage in the room. As you can see, decent size. I've got a big screen TV, which I'll show you some of the channels that are on that soon. Um, and then, yeah, let me just show you the area. So down here, you've got the TV, you've got my double bed, you've got a chair and a table and a desk and a chair, which is perfect for me, really. You can see I've got a really nice view outside the window there, which you saw earlier in the video. And it's really cosy. I've got air conditioning, but to be honest, it's just for heat. Um, and I think there's some kind of air filtration going on because I can hear something whirling around in there, even when it's turned off. I have to say the beds are really comfy. I've been sleeping seven, eight hours a night, which is good for me. I've got my backpack on there. Uh, not taking everything out of my backpack, uh, just getting stuff out as and when I need it. There's just not enough storage in here really, but it's fine, it's no problem. On the wall here, you've got all of the lighting system and also the heating and uh, air conditioner. Uh, and these little lights here to do with room service and stuff, which obviously we don't get here. Uh, so yeah, that's the little uh, kind of a uh, room monitoring system. So this is the entrance into the bathroom. You can see the uh, orange bin liners there. I've just put them in the bathroom under the sink to keep them out of the way. But yeah, put all of your rubbish in here. You also get uh, a big, big... Uh, uh, I don't know what you call it, <laughs> parcel of water, loads of water. And then here you've got a kettle, uh, you've got some noodle pots, cup noodles, uh, some sanitizer. The sanitizer you actually spray in the rubbish and you have to put that out at 7pm. Let's go and have a quick look in the bathroom. So we've got a typical Korean toilet. Uh, with a remote control at the side of it to wash your bum and dry your bum and all of that kind of good stuff. And then here you've got the bath and shower, as you can see. 
Uh, you've got a bit of a um, private bit there, even though there's nobody else in this room, in this room with me. And then down here, you've got the sink and everything there. You also have a fridge. And as you can see, I've just got water in there at the moment. There's nothing else in the fridge, but it's good to keep the water cold. I do like my drinks cold. Desk here, so I can do my work, do my writing and my video editing and things like that. So yeah, let's have a look at the TV. So one thing that surprised me is you've got your own Wi-Fi unit in your room. So the internet speed is really good. And also you've got this little box here, which is all of your TV channels. So let me just stand back a little bit. You can see I've got a sports channel on at the moment. I don't know if my camera's uh, making the TV go a bit funny. Um, but yeah, there's, there's loads of channels on here. There's about 200 channels. Uh, it's in Korean. So <laughs> you, do, you do get used to it after a little while. This is like Discovery Channel where there tends to be quite a bit of uh, English speaking stuff on, which is good. Um, I don't think there is right now, but normally later on in the day. And uh, 51, uh, I think there's about 200 channels on here. Uh, 51 is like sports channels, so all like the Premier League football, that's all on here. Obviously it's all in Korean, uh, but you've got news channels which are in English as well. So there's plenty of stuff on here. I've also got my Chromecast plugged in. Uh, so I can watch my Netflix. The remote control is all in Korean as well, but you get instructions with it all. And this is the room with all the lights off. <laughs> I've just got the blind, uh, the curtain across a little bit because it's a bit of glare. It's really sunny out today, uh, so you get a bit of glare on the TV. But yeah, just going to chill out for a bit now, and then I'll show you what I'm going to get for lunch, or what I get for lunch. Christmas Day lunch. Happy Christmas. <laughs> Football's on, just chilling out, relaxing. In fact, I think my dinner's due. Let's go and have a look. So let's see what we have for Christmas dinner. Yes, this is Christmas dinner right here. Let's see. And there it is. I have no idea what is in here. This is some kind of lemon sauce. This is... Um, a berry yogurt, I suspect. Yeah, let's look into it and find out. So here is a look at my Christmas dinner. So you've got potatoes, rice, some salad. No idea what this is here. No idea. These are sausages. And this looks like a lot of meat with peppers. I don't know if you can see that. Try to get a bit closer without spilling it. So yeah, I'm gonna tuck into this. Get my chopsticks out. I'm gonna be a, an expert using these chopsticks by the time I come out of quarantine. So yeah. Time for food. Good day, mate. Just found ABC TV. In Australia. Some English, at last. <laughs> so as you can see, you get quarantine facility instructions. It's not run by the hotel, it's run by the government here. So no smoke and drinking, penalty $300, but also uh, you get, um, you can get sent back home basically. Um, yeah, what other thing? Oh, you've got to be silent for other people, that's what it's saying. It's really, really quiet here. Everybody's been very quiet. Uh, and then you've got to do your health states, which I mentioned earlier, before 10 o'clock. It says not mandatory. Um, yeah, it is mandatory. <laughs> I think. I don't know. Um, and then food time, 8, 12 and 6.30. And then these are all the TV channels, which there's, what, 200 of them? Uh, also the instructions for the TV guide, which I've just noticed. I've been struggling with it, but yeah, I've I've just discovered this. Just eating my satsuma, and yes, that wasn't the best. I got some food in my tooth. That wasn't the best Christmas dinner I've ever had, but I'm a firm believer that you have to make sacrifices for things that you want in life. 
And I, I've always thought that, you know, when I was working nine to five in an office, I knew what I had to do. I was sacrifices I had to make to be able to live this lifestyle. And spending, what, seven days left in quarantine, 10 days in total is is perfectly fine um, for, you know, to be able to get out and see Seoul and to be in Seoul in South Korea, my first time in Asia in seven months. Uh, just so looking forward to getting out and exploring the parks and the nature and the river and the city and the palaces and just getting out and about street life. I'm really looking forward to that. Trying out the street food, just food in general. Um, I can't remember what I talked about this morning, so I'm hoping that I'm, I'm not duplicating what I've already said, but I've got three months here in South Korea. I'm going to be leaving towards the end of March. I've got a ticket to Thailand, uh, to Bangkok. That's where I'm planning to go for a month after. Obviously, depending on the situation with the pandemic, hopefully by then, uh, we will be in a better state, hopefully. So, three months in South Korea. Going to see as much of it as I can, really experience it. Um, living in a local area. Um, not a touristy area, but still loads and loads of stuff to do on my doorstep. Loads of markets. I can't wait to go to the markets and, and try out all the food. And oh, <sighs> can't wait to get out and have freedom again. But over the next seven days, I'm just going to be, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just going to be creating these little videos like this, sharing the food, sharing the experiences. I paid for this quarantine. You've got to pay if you want to come into Korea. It cost me, again, I don't, I'm don't. i hoping I haven't mentioned it this morning. I can't remember what I meant, talked about this morning, but basically it's £750, a thousand US dollars uh, for 10 days quarantine. That's your accommodation, that's your food. <laughs> That's your uh, COVID tests. I'll have another COVID test on day nine. And assuming that's fine and there's no problems and I don't, I'm not positive, uh, then I'll be able to leave uh, the next day on day 10 at 7.30 in the morning. I will be getting on a shuttle bus, which will take me to a subway station. And then I think, to be honest, I'm not going to go straight to my apartment. I think I'm just going to go for a little bit of an explore and... Um, yeah, we'll see. See how I feel on the day, see what the weather's like. Uh, the weather is very, very cold. And that's something people can't understand why I've come here when it's so cold. But as you've seen, blue sky is absolutely beautiful. So it gets very little rain in Seoul. But when it does rain, it's obviously snow. So we do have occasional snow days. Uh, just before I arrived, there was a lot of snow came down. But to be honest, there's no, there's no nothing left it disappeared as quick as it arrived um you know with the sunshine and the blue sky it's uh, it's beautiful it's I, I i love crispy cold weather and blue skies i just love exploring in that kind of weather i obviously like the heat as well and i'm looking forward to getting back to southeast asia but i do like the blue skies and the uh, just crispy icy weather i can wrap up few layers on if i get too warm i can take a layer off and uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to getting out and exploring. And this, by the way, was a blueberry yogurt drink. Uh, and I've also got some water. I'm just going to finish off my satsuma. I'm going to probably, probably play football manager. Uh, probably play that for an hour or two. Uh, my dinner comes at half past six. All you're really doing here is just counting down to your meals. You know, you wake up <laughs> and you're thinking, oh, it's an hour for breakfast. And then, oh, it's, a, it's an hour for lunch. It's just kind of counting down. There's not much more you can really do. I'm just going to create some videos, play football manager, play computer games, games on my mobile, watch TV, watch movies. Uh, do a bit of writing and that's that's as much as you can do really so I'm going to stop waffling and leave the video here I will film dinner and I'll show that in my next video so you get to see Christmas Day dinner uh, for now I'm just going to start editing this video as well and get it up so when everybody's waking up on Christmas Day hopefully you're watching this so yes uh, thank you for watching I'm in Seoul in, in South Korea I'm, I'm really excited to be here 
I'm really looking forward to getting out exploring and just get this quarantine over with. Hopefully everything is negative. And uh, yeah, I, sh I shall talk to you all again soon. Take care.